As a volunteer, I don't always get the chance to get hands-on with the latest and greatest hardware, which is why it was very exciting when Studica Robotics sent a big old box of parts to give away at our local kickoff event. This video isn't sponsored, but I want to say thank you to Studico Robotics for sending us those parts to give away to our local teams. While I have them, let's take a quick moment to take a look at some of those parts, because they are beautiful. Let's take a look at a piece of their U channel, and the first thing you'll notice is it is anodized to a beautiful blue color. This is not the only color that will be available, but it is very nice to look at. There's a little more to it though. They have also deepered and polished all of these pieces of their structural material. You won't get any rough edges when you're working with this unless you cut it yourself. Now, if you take a look at the whole pattern, it may look a little bit familiar. And in fact, one of the things that they stress is that their structural components are compatible with other manufacturers. So I have here a piece of Go Build a Metal. And if we just go ahead and line these up, you can see that the whole patterns are actually compatible. You can buy some Studica Robotics structural material now and add it on to an existing Go Build a chassis or vice versa in the future, which is awesome to see. I love to see compatibility between manufacturers, especially when you're a relatively new player in the game. Look and feel isn't the only reason why you might want to consider Studica Robotics structural material. Price is another one, because if you compare the prices of this 432mm U-channel in both Studica and Go Builder varieties, it goes for a cost of $15.99 for the Studica and $19.99 for the Go Builder. So for some components, you may find that Studica is actually cheaper. The hardware is really nice, but that's not all that Studica has to offer. If you read through the new competition manual, you'll see their name come up in a few different places, in areas where previously you could only get legal components from a select few manufacturers, including batteries, motors, servos, and servo power modules. I'll just quickly highlight their linear servo actuator, which meets the requirements for servos in First Tech Challenge. They have a very nice power distribution block, which I think looks very nice. And they have a very compact servo power block, which can be a nice replacement for the REV servo power module that you might be using now. I truly believe that having more manufacturers focused on First Tech Challenge can only be good for the program. It'll help lower prices for teams in the long run, and every now and then you get something truly beautiful out of it. Thank you again to Studica Robotics for sending these parts for our local teams, and I'll see you at the field.